Hi friends, this is Lady Flora and today I wanted to look at a curriculum called Mathematical Reasoning Beginning 2 from the Critical Thinking Company. But before I do that, I just wanted to let you know I have a lot of videos on this channel about curriculum and our take on it and if it worked for us and how we're using it. So if you're interested in watching more videos like that, you can subscribe and also you can follow us. There are some links below in the description box below and you can follow us on Instagram and WordPress as well where we have a blog about homeschooling ideas and crafts and projects that you can do with your little ones. But let's get into it right now. So here it is beginning to mathematical reasoning from the critical thinking company and this says it can be a core curriculum or a supplemental resource and I got this for my daughter when she was four and we've used a lot of it almost I guess we've almost used all of it we took a break from it for a while uh, I'm not really sure why we did um, but we've started using it again and so uh, that's the reason why I wanted to do this video and the thing that I thought was cool about this is, first of all, I like the title. I like that it's mathematical reasoning. I think that teaching reasoning and logic is very important and kind of an overlooked subject, but I think it's a helpful way to approach math instead of just looking at it as learning the operations and learning the skills. I think it's important to learn how to reason. And this is our table of contents where it basically tells you the skills we have really liked this book. When, when I do this book with my daughter, she doesn't know that it's a math book and she really enjoys it. So you can see some of the illustrations here. They're a little wonky. They have kind of a funny, like stretched out looking appearance and they're just kind of silly. But the questions are, you know, are there more brown cows or black cows in the picture? So there's a lot of word problems as opposed to standard looking math problems and I like that about this book they do a lot of um, of number lines so like in this case you would say point to the red circle and say the number below it and um, this this worked out well with my daughter she enjoyed that they also have some simple writing you can trace the number with your finger and then you can trace it with a pen, which is great. So here are a few other examples. Touch the first box and say first. So you get to learn, you know, first, second, and third. Um, there's also a few pages where you get to learn like behind, in front of, around, things like that. And then there's patterns, which I, I really liked. So in this case, we've got um, fishing pole, worm, fish, fishing pole, worm, fish, and then what's gonna be behind the curtain? It's gonna be a fishing pole. So that's kind of cool. We enjoyed doing this with my daughter. I felt like she really enjoyed learning this concept of patterns. This is fun too. We've got candles on a birth cake, birthday cake, so how, how old is he based on how many candles are on there? And how old will he be on his next birthday? I love these kind of questions. And then it also has just regular addition. I like that, that they don't just use numbers, but that they're using images. And the child is just encouraged to count, count how many bugs and tell what the total is. So there's not a lot of, it's not super advanced, but it's teaching math in a, in a kind of a, a subtle way, I guess. <laughs> And this is cool, I liked, I liked this project. We, we had to color in the rectangles for how many children liked which flavor, or preferred each flavor. The only thing I would say about it is um, I'm just not crazy about the pictures. They're just a little, I don't know, crazy and weird looking and uh, sort of odd but it doesn't really matter in, in this case. I mean, it's holding my daughter's attention. She finds it fascinating. And that's really the most important thing when it comes to learning and teaching a subject like math. 
and speaking of that, um, another good thing about this project is, about this book, sorry, is that there's really no preparation necessary. You just open it and go. And, and that has been my favorite kind of curriculum so far. I don't really have a lot of time to prepare and also I get a little overwhelmed when there's a lot of instructions on how a particular curriculum is supposed to be used. I feel like you should just be able to open it and and know and know what to teach it or how to teach it. And I, I like it when there's a note for the parents, like parents read this to yourself, now read this out loud to the child. I really like that in a curriculum. So we've got some dot to dots as well. So overall, I think this is a really great curriculum. I think it's about $25 new. We got it used on eBay, probably about, I think it was about $20. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. There is more information in the description box below. I have a few playlists on other curriculums that you might be interested in checking out as well, and they should be appearing on the screen right now. So go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, share. Uh, I always try to answer comments. And then after you do that, go outside and have a sublime day.